In this lesson, I want to spend some time looking at how to support editing of tables within Titanium. So thus far, our solution looks something like the following. Let's, let's build this. Um, we have a table that has four entries and um, what we can do in the table right now is select a table row and that will display a view with a title plus a label in the, in the center of the screen. Um, so we see that here. Um, here's our table. I select um, the row and we have our view, but I can't edit the table, so I can't swipe to delete or I can't, there's no way for us to change the order of the table. So we're going to see how to do that um, here within Titanium. Um, and it's a fairly straightforward thing. So first of all, what we need to do is make the table so that it is editable. So I'm going to use the editable um, property and set that to true. And what this immediately does is makes it so that we can delete items from our table. So let's take a look at that functionality. So build this. So we have our uh, we have our table. Again, I can select items, but now I can swipe to the left. Let me try that again. Swipe. One more time. There we go. So I can swipe to the left and uh, I get a delete button and uh, I can actually delete the items from here. Okay, so um, but if the user doesn't know that they're able to swipe then there's no cue here for uh, letting them know that um, uh, the item can be changed. And the other thing I don't have uh, yet here is abil an ability to move anything um, in the table. So Let's look at how to actually support that functionality as well. And what I'm going to do is add uh, a button. Actually, it's technically two buttons. Uh, one button for um, setting the mode to edit and another button for, uh, for indicating that you're done with editing. So let me go ahead and add those buttons. Um, so I'm going to have an edit button And the title here is going to be edit. And then I'm going to create another button. And call this the done button. And what I'm going to do is set the um, the right nav button for the uh, the window to be the edit button and so what we'll get in our interface is a button up in this corner that we can use to edit the uh, edit the table um, and then I need I need a uh, an event listener actually I need two event listeners uh, one for what happens when you um, select the edit button. So when we select the edit button, we want to put the table into an edit uh, an edit mode. So I'm going to do two things. One of them is I'm going to set the table so that I can move items. And then I'm going to um, put the table into an editing mo mode. And then finally, I'm going to set the right nav button to be the done button. should be semicolons. And then I need another event handler, an event listener. This is add event listener. Um, for what happens when the um, done button is pressed, in which case I'm going to set 
the uh, moving mode to false, the editing mode to false, and then I'm going to set the button, the nav button, back to the edit button. Okay, so let's see this in action. Okay, so I have my edit button. I still have that ability to swipe and put us um, and delete a row, uh, but I can also select the edit button. I can now delete a row. I can move them around, and I can also delete them. And then when I select done, we go back to the original mode for editing, or so for uh, viewing the table. So anyway, that's the. Uh, um, that's the main functionality there for editing the table. Uh, there's one more thing that we'll want to do is be able to add items to a table. Uh, but anyway, we've got this uh, we've got this setting for editable to make sure that we can actually make modifications to the table, and then uh, created two buttons, edit and done, and then um, place the uh, um, place the uh, the event listeners onto the window. Anyway, that concludes this lesson.